Hi, you're watching this video because you probably bought one of my accessory panels or you just like watching my videos. Either way, today I'm going to show you how to install this step by step. Real quick, before we get into the install, I want to remind you that there is still time to join the giveaway if you want to get one of these for free. It ends at the end of this month, so if you click over here, I'll have a little link for that video. You can comment down below for that to get yourself entered. Otherwise, if you want to purchase one of these, please email me, alex at lexdfox.com, and I'll get you hooked up. And here are all the tools that you're going to need, although realistically you only need three out of the four of these. The panel, obviously, that's what you're installing. You're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter wrench. And then the needle nose pliers are optional. That's just for the wiring harness if you want to remove any of the clips to get better access to the screws. First things first, we're going to take off our two 10 millimeters. There's one right here and then one right here, pretty simple. And then the bottom is just held on with little plastic plugs. So we're just gonna undo these and pop it off, move this all to the side. So what you're seeing here is behind the headlight. This is the wiring harness on the back side of the dashboard. The dashboard is connected with three screws that you need to remove. There's gonna be one right here, one under here, and one right here. You're gonna take care of that with your screwdriver. One thing real quick that I'll note when you're trying to get to these screws is that there is one piece of the wiring harness that you do have to move out of the way because there's no way you can get a screwdriver behind it without it. And that's this tab right here. This box needs to be out of the way in order to reach this. This can be accessed right here pretty easily with fingers, although some needle nose pliers might also help. So we're just gonna unplug this one so we can move it out of the way. So now before we actually install the panel, one thing I wanna note, a little bit of modification that I highly recommend doing in order to make everything fit as snugly and as perfectly as possible. So all of these three screws have a rubber grommet, one, two, and three in the back that you can't see here, where it mounts. And for the two on the ends, one here and one here, it's recommended that you shave off a little bit right here. You can see actually with mine, there is a little bit of a gap here, even though it's actually flush. In comparison to this middle one right here, you can kind of see this one is fully in, and I just shaved off basically an eighth of an inch. That's the exact same width of the acrylic. That way it allows for that difference and it's able to mount up flush and there's no chance of this being misaligned on the bracket. With the dashboard actually popped out of the rubber, it's real easy. You can just pull these things off of the metal bracket right here so that you can shave off the necessary one eighth inch and then reinstall. Now it comes time to finally installing the panel. Real quick, before we install this fully, a couple things to keep note of. Number one, if you have any accessories here with a cord that's gonna pass underneath this little cutout right here, make sure that you put the cord in between this before installing this because this is quite tight of a fit and some connections are too big in order to put this on after the fact. So make sure that those cords are in there before you slide this behind the dashboard. Also, if you plan on cutting any holes in this panel for USB charger or for mounting for tachometer, hour meter, whatever it is that you plan on putting onto this, make sure you look at the other video that I put out today, which demonstrates the best method in order to do that to keep it as clean as possible without cracking or breaking this. So check that out first and make sure that you mock up however you want this customized before you install. Now that these are loose, we can just simply slide this on through the four holes behind the dashboard like so, and then we'll just reverse the process. Another thing real quickly I'll mention with these screws is that these screws go into plastic. So be careful about this and avoid cross-threading. Uh, people like Jake the Garden Snake always mention this and so I'm gonna mention this as well. One of the things that you wanna do with this to avoid cross-threading is before you tighten it, just to go counterclockwise until you hear a pop and it slide in, that means it goes into the threads. That way when you tighten this thing up, you're not gonna cross-thread anything. Just like that. Now we can tighten. Make sure to plug this part back in. Now that the dashboard's all taken care of, we're gonna put these two plugs into the top of the fender here. Just kind of wiggle them down. 
And the final step, secure the headlight shroud with the 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side. And that's it. So there you have it, pretty simple install, minimal modification, just shaving off those rubber grommets, two tools and less than five minutes and you will have a beautiful panel just like you see here. Well, no you don't, the brake line's in the way. There it is, a beautiful panel right that, that you can put all of your accessories on or just clean up so you avoid having to look at your wiring harness. Also a quick reminder, if you're watching this in August of 2022, there's still a chance to get one of these for free with the giveaway video. Go to that video, link in the description below and comment for that to be entered or just email me alex at lexdfox.com with your interest and I'll get you hooked up. Thank you for watching. Don't leave, don't leave.